What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So something I've been wanting to talk about a little bit the past few days is Intel's Core Ultra 300 or Panther Lake, which we've talked about here for quite a few months coming up in devices and hopefully some handhelds. But you know, it's been interestingly quiet coming up to CES 2026 this year. Last year by now, I was already preparing to pre-order uh, the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus with the Intel Core Ultra 200. And we had already gotten leaks about that for a month or two and kind of knew a lot. And this year, there hasn't been very much information at all about handhelds potentially using the new Intel Core Ultra 300 or MSI, particularly with their Claw device, which I do find pretty interesting because I would love to see another iteration of that Claw 8 AI Plus with the newer chip and to be able to test that out. But nothing from them yet, even though they do have laptops coming, which... We'll take a quick look at it as well. But yeah, CES is coming up and the Intel Core Ultra 300 or Panther Lake is going to be coming out. I wanted to talk about that a little bit here. So let's go ahead and dive in a little bit more. So like I said, they announced about a week ago or a little bit more at time of making this video that Asus was going to be launching some of the first Core Ultra 300 or Panther Lake laptops come January 6th when CES is taking place. And then more recently here we got uh, msi's first laptops powered by core ultra 300 panther lake so these are going to be showing up in a ton of laptops eta primes already got a video out if you want to go check that out talking about this msi laptop in particular and i've been very excited to see what they're going to do with this chip as far as the um, efficiency and performance and stuff when it comes to uh, comparing it to maybe like the Core Ultra 200, but doing that with a laptop versus a handheld is a little bit different when it comes to cooling, TDP you can use, usually higher wattage and things like that. So I really want to see this in a handheld, which we also did get a little bit of information about. One X Player X1 leak confirms first gaming handheld with Panther Lake Core Ultra 5338H processor. And this is one of the first leaks or talkings about, you know, a handheld using this chip, which I did find was interesting. Very different from the past two years when that was pretty much dominated by MSI. And pretty much we've gotten a confirmation that uh, while it may still be a leak, pretty much confirmation that One X Player will be using Core Ultra 300. Not a surprise in some of their next handhelds. I believe it probably won't just be that Ultra 5, but probably see that Ultra 7 as well, which is what MSI opted to more go with when they had the Core Ultra 8 AI Plus and even the 7 AI Plus, which was the exact same uh, Ultra 7 chip in that one, just in that smaller form factor when they reused the form factor from the original series claw from 2024. We've also had some 36 watt Furmark testing come out on this as well, apparently probably from the same leak and from this one X player. And I kind of take these things with a grain of salt a bit when these start kind of coming out. And I really like to see some more real world game performance and more comparisons to the core ultra 200 and that type of thing. And maybe the ultra seven. Uh, but yeah, it is apparent that, you know, one X is going to be having some stuff come out here using this chip, but I haven't found really anything else from MSI or anybody where this chip could be being used in a handheld or a mainstream handheld, you know, like from uh, Lenovo or Asus or um, MSI or any of them. So uh, that's pretty interesting. It's definitely a lot different from 2024 uh, CES, 2025 CES, when MSI was pretty strong with Intel and that partnership. So I wonder if they're going to have something or not as we get closer here to CES 2026 uh, or maybe announce something there. It would be a late announcement for them. Usually they kind of start letting out some of that information ahead of time, but it is only December 9th at the time I'm making this video. So maybe MSI will still come along with something Intel Core 300 related. So I'm typically much more of an AMD fan, and in my over 30 years of building PCs, I've pretty much usually leaned on AMD stuff, except for most of my GPUs, which, because I came from the time of Voodoo back in the day, I kind of transitioned into the NVIDIA stuff, but of course I've had some AMD GPUs along the way as well, but I've always kind of leaned on them, especially on my CPU side, even in the rough days of the FX chips and the uh, bulldozer or whatever it was with that whole architecture and everything on those, but yeah, I was through all of that, and I've been with AMD for a long time, but I really wanted to see more competition come to the space, and NVIDIA has really only hit like with the Switch and the Switch 2, and seeing what they pulled off with the Switch 2, I really wish they were in some other handhelds and able to run that way, but Intel coming along from being so far behind and losing a lot of good graces the past, you know, five, six, seven years, especially in the APU market and AMD really taking over, I was excited to see them come back. Now, when they came back with the original, um, 
Core Ultra 7 and 5 in the original claw in 2024. I put out a fairly rough re review on that just because that chip was more made for the laptops, the higher TDP to better cooling, and did not transition well into that smaller chassis and into that handheld. It got a lot hotter, it had trouble with performance, a lot of throttling. They did a lot to fix it up and to help it along the way, which I commend them for, but it just wasn't a chip made for a handheld. Fast forward to 2025, and we got the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus and 7 AI Plus using both of them, 32 gigabytes of RAM and the same exact Core Ultra 7 uh, chip, which was the 200 series. And this made a huge difference. The efficiency was much better. It's an eight core CPU, and we've got the better upgraded, uh, I believe it's Battle Mage or X cores for the GPU side of things on that APU from Intel. And I've really loved my MSI Claw 8 AI Plus, a complete turnaround from the original Claw, and seeing Intel make huge leaps and strides uh, for a handheld for a small form factor to get what they got out of that chip and make. Uh, so many changes from the original. So I've been excited to see what the Core Ultra 300 could offer. Uh, in laptops is fine, but more specifically in the handhelds. So I do hope that someone more than just 1X player will come along. I'm hoping MSI maybe continues with their partnership and has another handheld. And I'd really love to see companies like Asus and Lenovo, MSI, all of them really kind of give you the option of an AMD platform or Intel platform if Intel continues its improvements here and continues to uh, get better because I've been very impressed by the Claw 8 AI Plus and by that chip and have used it a ton. And while it does have its own caveats and issues, such a leap from their original one in 2024. So for me, I think competition is good. Prices continue to go up and RAM, you know, more recently going to cause issues, I'm sure, in handhelds and things like that. So competition is always going to be better. And I do like seeing Intel try to make a comeback here and try to garner back some of the good graces that they lost and performance and stuff in their APUs. So hopefully we're going to see more. I'm going to keep an eye out for CES and that type of thing and see who else might have these coming out in handhelds. And if nobody like MSI or one of the mainstream ones come up with it, maybe I'll try to get my hands on one of the other ones just because I really do want to be able to check out the Core Ultra 300, hopefully the Ultra 7 in a handheld. But I do still tend to lean more AMD and I, I probably always will. Uh, but I love seeing this and I want to see Intel continue and I hope that we see some good stuff out of this Core Ultra 300. But let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of you guys still don't really care that much about the Intel for the handhelds, and I totally get that, but I just find it really interesting, and they have done a ton of work, so we'll see what they do here, and let me know what you think about that, and if you'd be interested in a Core Ultra 300 uh, handheld. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always, and I'll see you in the next one.